And this area was the scene of some of the most tense exchanges so far. That fence behind me that was breached, not just already fixed, but crews this morning adding an additional layer of fencing as Chicago prepares for what is expected to be another round of protests. This morning, authorities in Chicago remain on high alert following moments of heated protests outside the Democratic National Convention. Multiple people detained and arrested, some carried away after a group broke through a layer of Secret Service fencing. They breached the fence, they got into the outer perimeter. We have no idea what they would have done if they gotten onto the other side. Officers scrambling to rebuild a piece of the damaged barrier. The DNC Joint Information Center writing at no point was the inner perimeter breached and there was no threat to any protectees. Overnight, demonstrators even seen inside the convention center. One group unraveling a protest banner in support of Palestinians during President Biden's speech, with other attendees quickly placing their own signs in front of them. Officers in riot gear clearing a protest area after mostly peaceful demonstrations. Thousands rallying and marching Monday afternoon, at one point delaying some buses carrying convention delegates, a DNC official tells NBC News. I felt like I needed to be around like-minded people that care about humanity. The groups focused on different issues, but many demanding the Democratic Party and its new presidential nominee support ending aid to Israel in its war in Gaza. We have but one demand and the genocide in Palestine. Stop sending weapons to Israel. A demand protesters say they will keep making each day of this convention. And Chicago's top cop overnight is praising his officers, saying that the de-escalation training that they received ahead of the convention came to good use. That situation resolved with no tear gas, no batons being used. The hope that those tense moments that we saw uh, last night were the worst of the convention. All right, Shaq Brewster for us. Shaq, thank you. And of course, make sure you stick with NBC News for live coverage from the Democratic National Convention all week, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on NBC, and of course, streaming on NBC News Now. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.